Gentlemen colours, here comes Lady Masquerade, jockeys carrying the colours of the late John Barr. The Sherpa will be the last one to link up. All set for the final. Over the mile, Percy Clark to start up. Let's them go. Not a bad break at Barrier Rise. Lord Power was one of the first to get out with uh, Battle Royale kicking up along the inside. Sir Maximus is not going to hold them out as they meet the corner at the 1400 and uh, Battle Royale is going to race to the lead, putting them down out nicely by two lengths to the good of Lord Power. In third is Sir Maximus, then Sher the Sherpa. Second last here is Say and Lady Masquerade. They rip into the back straight, down the back they run short of 1200 out and Battle Royale Real out by three lengths to the good of in second place Lord Power. Oh, two off then is Sir Maximus on the inside of the Sherpa. Two away then is Hearsay and Lady Masquerade. At the 800 metre mark they turn and start to head down the highway side and out in front still Battle Royale leading by the best of one length now to the good of Lord Power who's getting closer. He's at his girth. One and a half off then to Sir Maximus then the Sherpa. Second last still is Hearsay and at the tail whipping him in is Lady Masquerade. Not that much. There's only four lengths from first to last at the 600 running down towards the home turn Lord Power moves up to put pressure to Battle Royale and in the centre they're hooking out now is uh, Sir Maximus to Lake a line of three coming to the extreme outside the Sherpa and also Lady Masquerade they're right across the track here Lord Power, Sir Maximus down the outside the Sherpa they're the main ones in it getting up on the fences here say here say coming up on the inside of Battle Royale Battle Royale still in front and Battle Royale will lead all the way to beat the hearsay third home Sir Maximus then came uh, Lord Power knocking up there too was uh, the Sherpa and last in Lady Masquerade well she went to the front uh, the apprentice jockey did on uh, Battle Royale and uh, was taken on before the home turn pressured again got headed after they straightened up. They were coming at left and right and centre at Battle Royale, but under the claim of the apprentice, uh, Battle Royale was able to hold back the late challenges to score well on the line. Wait for the numbers to go officially into the frame after the running of the lucky last, the clarity hearing John Barr Memorial Class 4 handicap. Waiting for those numbers to go into the frame. Number one goes into the frame, Battle Royale. Number one's into the frame. Over number six, Hearsay. It's got up on the inside, got a dream run on the home turn. So number one, Battle Royale, will be first, written by the apprentice, Miss Lauren Gurnia. At $2.50 was one of the short price favourites for the event. Second placing going to Hearsay, I think, number six. They got that dream run on the home turn, written by Adam Sewell. Time and margins coming in hand. Number two is third. Number two was Sir Maximus, written by Scotty Sheargold. Fourth went to number seven, and fifth in was five. Lord Power has run fourth to margins. Three quarters of a length. Three quarters of a length to winning margin by a half length. The time of 135.59. 135.5. Another track record, boys. The records are getting broken today. Another new mile record. So, Battle Royale gets his name down in the book as the new track record holder at Ewan for the 1,600-metre uh, journey, raced by the Headley Racing Syndicate manager, Tom Headley, trained by Freddie Whelan of Cairns. Good to see Fred get a winner. Comes here and patronises the races all the way from Cairns. And a great win by the apprentice. $2.50 was the market in the betting ring. Here saved from the Johnny Mandelman stable by Star Witness. Maiden Sewell was $12 when I was in the betting ring, $12 for hearsay. He was back at the tail but got a dream run on the home turn 
and the third Sir Maximus by uh, Manhattan Rain, trained by Patty Maguire Townsville and written by Scott Sheardold was around $2.70, well supported in the meeting as well. The winner, Battle Royale, scoring by three quarters of a length with a half length separating second and third. That car for the other one, 35.59, 135.59. The time, a new track record, a new track record in the last. Waiting for the jockeys to go to the weigh-in out room where they do get correct weight. We'll go down to Dave Fowler with flowers in the saddling enclosure is our master of ceremony. He'll do the presentation to the winning connections of Battle Royale, the Headley Racing Syndicate, uh, along with uh, John Farr's family down there as well in the presentation, along with representatives of Clarity Hearing and the uh, trophy donated by Causeway Reef Nutrition representatives. Hope they're all down there pleased in the saddling enclosure. Well, we've had two great days of racing. I can uh, tell you now it was great racing, contested keenly. We had a few mishaps on day one, the horses being taken out at the start. We had the unfortunate fall of Frank Edwards in the first after he won the race. But the rest of the day's program's gone on pretty smoothly. And once again, I take my hat off to Dave Woodhouse and his hard-working 